Welcome back to Key Schools. The aim of this video is to tell you everything you might want to know about the winter pool. Whether you're uh, a current Cambridge applicant and are waiting to find out the result of your application, or someone thinking about applying to Cambridge in the future and are interested. Now I said might want to know rather than need to know because the winter pool happens without any direct applicant involvement at all. So there's nothing you need to do to make it happen from your end. That means if you're someone who feels the Cambridge application process is quite complicated enough, thank you, I don't want to be learning anything I don't need to know, feel free to click on one of these playlists that's hopefully popping up either side of me and skip this video and watch something else. But if you are interested in the pool, uh, you want to know a little more about how it works, you have some questions about it, then this is the video for you. I'm joined in this video by Moby, one of our current students at Keys, who's going to discuss his own experience of the pool, and together we're going to attempt to answer some of the most common questions about it. Hi everyone, I'm Moby, I'm a third year uh, at Cumberland Keys College. So I applied for St Catharines and uh, then I did my interview and I, I received my email. I was, um, so I was working as a school cleaner at the time and I remember the notification popped up and it said that the tagline was something like um, University Admissions and it said, um, unfortunately you have not dot dot dot. And I thought, well, that obviously means I've been rejected. Um, and I clicked on it and the kind of dot 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 revealed itself to say, unfortunately, you've not been successful with St. Catharines. However, you have been successful with um, Cumberland Keys and Keys said basically that they'd love to have me. So in a nutshell, the winter pool is Cambridge's moderation process. So if you apply to Cambridge, your application is handled by a particular college. And your application is judged alongside the field in that particular college, but also across the university in your subject. And the pool is what facilitates that second part of, of how we judge you. So we're looking for applicants with the greatest academic, academic potential, regardless of background, not only within the college you've applied to or been allocated to if you made an open application, but in your subject right across the board. So the classic example is one year a college for a certain subject has let's say four places, it receives 10 really strong applications and all of those 10 applications um, the college thinks are potentially gonna be good enough for Cambridge. It makes four offers and the six left over um, who are potentially good enough for Cambridge go into the winter pool and all of the other colleges if they want to can come have a look at their applications and then decide whether to make any one of them or all of them an offer. So when the pool used to take place in person, there would be a big table full of applicant files and you'd have representatives, academics from the colleges involved with admissions coming to have a look at all the files and decide who to make their offer to. As I record this, we're actually just a few days away from the 2022 pool. It now takes place online as a lot of things do these days. Um, so the process is still the same in theory, but rather than a physical table, it all happens online. I hadn't really thought too much about the winter pool. I didn't know not many people had talked about it. And I thought, um, I thought, well, this isn't going to happen to me or, you know, this only happens to minority students. But uh, a lot of people I've spoken to have actually been pulled and it's not it's not this kind of rare like thing. So this is a hard question to answer because it varies a bit year on year, naturally. But I would say a sizable minority of applicants who are placed in the pool will end up getting an offer from a different college. Remember that when colleges are deciding which applicants to place in the pool, they place applicants in the pool who they think are potentially good enough for Cambridge that year. And it's really important to stress that the Cambridge application process is relative. So we are looking for applicants with the greatest academic potential regardless of background that particular year. We have a certain number of places and every year sadly people do miss out not because they've done anything wrong, not because they're judged to be too weak for Cambridge, but simply because, in our judgment, there are other applicants who are stronger that year. I didn't really have to do anything. Um, it was all kind of done behind the scenes. So, whereas I would have thought that if you've been pulled, you're going to have to like do a completely new application, you're going to have to do loads of interviews, blah, blah, blah. Um, it's not like that at all. It's, it's, uh, it's a much, much... Um, friendlier kind of situation. Um, you, they just say, okay, you're now in Keys and you don't really have to do anything. Almost certainly, yes. So it's really important to remember that basically every Cambridge student ends up really loving their college, even if it isn't the college they originally applied to. 
Of course, you might initially be a little bit disappointed if you had your heart really set on a particular college, but that disappointment won't last long because quickly you'll realise, OK, I have a place at Cambridge, and that, that's really the main thing to, to focus on. I, I kind of waved goodbye to St Catharines, and uh, I went to Keyes, and I'm very happy here. And uh, as, as a lot of people would say, college choice doesn't really matter. I'm very happy I'm at Keyes. Keyes is a lovely place. Uh, I think regardless of where I'd gone to, whether I'd gone to um, Keyes or Kings or Girton or wherever, I'd have still enjoyed it because ultimately it's still the University of Cambridge. You're still going to be meeting lovely, friendly people. You're still going to be able to go to um, all the different like departmental libraries, university library. Um, and all colleges do care about you. And like you may hear like stereotypes of one college being a really horrible, scary college. But in reality, um, no matter where you go, it's, uh, it's a fun and friendly experience. Every college and every subject is encouraged to have a look at the pool, no matter how many applications they've received in that subject. Remember that the pool is our moderation process at Cambridge. It's the way that we ensure that you as an applicant are being judged in a gathered field across the subject at the university, as well as in a gathered field across a college. So that means that every college will usually make some offers through the pool, no matter how many applications they've received that year or how, how popular they seem. It's also really worth stressing that popularity changes over time, that no Cambridge college is better or worse than any other objectively or on any kind of scale. So please don't be disappointed if you find that you've gone to a different college to the one that you're expecting or hoping. It really doesn't make a difference. The thing to focus on is the fact that you have a Cambridge offer. Congratulations, celebrate and enjoy. Quite possibly, but equally, if you weren't placed in the pool, that's not necessarily an indication that it's not worth thinking about reapplying next year either. We'll have another video in this series coming up very soon where we'll be talking more about what to do if, sadly, um, the rejection comes through. Yes, but that's a different kettle of fish. We'll do another video on that before too long. Yes, it's quite rare. It will be made very clear to you in an email what you need to do if in the unlikely event it does happen to you and just follow instructions from the college if that happens. Oxford holds its moderation process at the same time as your interview, so in December. That's why their interviews go on for longer than ours do. They don't have a separate um, pool in January. If you're interested and want to find out more, have a look at the Oxford website um, or go and find an official uh, Oxford college or, or department uh, uh, YouTube channel. That's it for now. I hope you found this video useful and enjoyed it. Let us know down in the comments below if this is the kind of content you want to see or not. Thank you very much indeed to Moby for his very helpful contributions. And we'll be back in, with another video very soon, another one in this series before too long. But for now, stay safe, take care and see you soon.